economic impact to education. And we, we thought we'd tell our story through some statistics and dollars and cents because that's, you know, we can give all these great anecdotal stories, like you said, those great videos, which I love watching. But to some of the people that really make these decisions, we need to make our argument in terms of here is really what the investment comes out to be. Here's how we really can make that big change. So first I'm gonna talk about well, what happens when the kids fall through the cracks? How much does that cost us when they don't attain their education? So let's start with poverty. Children that live in poverty. Can anyone wanna throw out a number what they think, how much ch child poverty costs the US economy each year? A dollar amount, anyone wanna throw a dollar amount out? It's huge, it's $500 billion per year. That's 4% of our GDP every year from our children living in poverty. Students who have to be retained in schools because they don't meet the standards to move forward or they haven't passed enough credits to move on to the next grade level, another $18 billion annually, the cost that we incur. Someone who doesn't have a high school diploma, they on average make 2.6 times less than someone with a bachelor's degree. $47,000, is about the average for someone with a bachelor's degree. Someone who doesn't have a high school diploma, median income, about $18,000 a year. Think about that lost economic impact on each community. It's huge. So when they fall through the cracks, the costs are tremendous and enormous. But the good news is that when we invest in our human services, in our schools, we get great gains. So, human services. Something that I like to always say is, human services are a lifeline, they're not a handout. They're a lifeline. They provide people with the opportunity to contribute to our society. And of course, the investment now pays off down the road. If we ignore the problems now, the cost is so much higher down the road. And sometimes it's hard to see that. Sometimes it's hard to look down to the other side and see, well, if we ignore this problem now, what is our cost down the road? It's enormous. So let's talk about some really great investments we can make. Let's first talk about after school programs. At JT, I just wanna highlight two really quick after school programs. We have the Mentor 2.0 program with Big Brothers Big Sisters and Mike Biata and Courtney are here. It's a wonderful after school <coughs> program. We have Maurice from our YMCA Teen Achievers programs. These are four programs that we see make a difference with our students. They're in our schools every week. For every dollar we invest in quality after school programs, we see almost a $9 return on those, that investment. And then students who regularly participate in an after school program through our human services partners and the ones we offer ourselves, here are some numerous studies have shown that they are at school more often, they have higher self esteem, they have better academic achievement, decreased delinquency. These are things we want for all students. So the human services here make a big difference. So after school programs is one thing um, that we like to partner with our human service partners with. The second thing is early childhood programs. Even though we're a high school district talk, representing education in general, we have to get to our students early. Now, a lot of people, the, the big thing when you see this, you think of as preschool for all, right? Which we want every, stu every, every student to have the opportunity to go to preschool. But this is also being able to identify those students that have vision, speech, um, cognitive delays, and getting to them early. If you don't get to them early, a lot of research shows that it's really hard to catch back up. For every dollar we invest in early childhood programs, we see an eight to fourteen dollar return. If I was promising you this in, in, on the stock market, you'd probably say that I have a sell next to Bernie Madoff uh, reserve for me, right? It's not possible, but this is the truth. The investment matters, and we do see it. And if you don't start early, it, like I said, sometimes the the it can really um, set them behind. So sometimes when you might not even be able to catch up. Child care. We talked about child care. At JT, we have an infant child care center where we service um, um, children aged six weeks to two years old for our students. We have a wonderful system. We have a wonderful partners, Easter Seals and many more, giving those students the opportunity to get their education and be successful afterwards. If you have an infant in child care in this country, it's more than the cost of your average monthly food costs and your car payment. 
if you're lucky and you have two kids, it's more than your average median rent. So it's like adding another rent. How many people can afford two rents? And how are they supposed to go out and get a job? In Illinois alone, every dollar we invest in childcare comes back as $2.13 of economic activity, and that's not even counting the economic impact on the jobs in the childcare sector and those parents that are able to go out and support themselves. It's a worthwhile investment. And the last thing I'll talk about is school health systems. We partnered with the Will County Health Department to write a grant to try to put a health system in our school. That's like a little medical health clinic within your school. We were unfortunately unsuccessful, but the schools in Illinois that have a medical clinic in their school, they saw that their absences were decreased by 50% and half. They saw that their discipline referrals uh, declined rapidly because students were getting the mental health services that they need. And we say, look at million, almost $2 million for immunizations provided, two and a half million for emergency room visits avoided. And we do partner with the Will County Health Department for our YES program, where we're getting interns in to work with our students that so desperately need that connection. So 